Give me a second. <laughs> nah, I'm stuck. No. No. Punch me in the face. Punch me in the face. You can't punch people here. I'm punching you. So, what do you think? This huge tree in the middle, glass roof up there. Yeah, we. You, 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 you missed the cobblestone block there. I think. Oh no, it's just a border. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna. I, I didn't see that. I'm gonna uh, use a trick here at the top. Uh, I'm gonna plant one more uh, tree on top of this one, so it, it it extends a little bit further upwards. I'm not satisfied with current. This little thing. Yeah. Have you seen my mini game, the labyrinth that I? Yeah, I saw your video. Yeah. Did you try it out? No, not yet. I didn't find the game district yet. Ah, uh, it's it's close by somewhere. Oh. Well. It's dirty. Look. It's perfectly in line. Yeah, but we can we can use. <laughs> yeah, I know blocks like this to create uh, let's see now something like this yeah. okay let's extend this part now this looks derpy <laughs> all right all right I think this is gonna work wow this thing looks cool <laughs> Now, I'm a little bit jealous. <laughs> really hey, looks... your temple looks amazing as well, so... Yeah, but it's not finished. I mean, I'm way off. <laughs> well, one of these episodes, you can help me uh, finish it. I'm gonna need... Yeah, sure. I'm gonna need a hand with, uh, with the middle roof. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not difficult. It's, it's just repetitive. Time-consuming. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We can even make it a third-person time-lapse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello over there. <laughs> Hello from the other side. <laughs> um, I, I'm missing some vines, some... Uh... Yeah, I, I need to add some bushes to it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And that wall over there, next to the church. Yeah. It, it looks it, a little bit flat, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it looks, yeah, it looks derpy. Yep. I'm but not as derpy as that zombie villager stuck there. <laughs> Just like random. <laughs> I've cleaned some parts up. I don't know if you noticed it, but the mess that was behind you is all cleaned up now. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've noticed. I've noticed. <laughs> don't you worry. <laughs> um. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wanted to ask you about the pillars inside. If you can come down here real quick. Yep, oh, okay. the grass has spread around. Oh wow, that was fast. Yeah, it looks amazing now. <laughs> Uh, so we can ooh I just got an idea imagine having a huge pond here in this corner and in the middle of that pond you have a bed and there's like a bridge taking you to the bed and that's it and then there's like a decoration around it like a circular room I'm on it the easiest way to build the hobbit hole is uh, actually just build it on the surface and then cover it up with dirt <laughs> But we took we took the long long way. Of... Well, we we don't have to build a mountain over it, so. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, Do the calculations. <laughs> yeah, but the symmetry then on the entrance is gonna be messed up. Well, if you're gonna make it like a bit organic, it doesn't need to have any symmetry to it. If you're gonna make a pond, it doesn't need to be a round circle. Now you tell me. <laughs> okay, we're gonna build a circle here. It's gonna be symmetric. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Halfway into it. Well, it doesn't have to be symmetrical. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you came with a plan to build build a circle. I didn't do that. Yeah, and I I, I didn't I didn't take it into consideration that the bed is actually uh, one block uh, uh, wide but two blocks long. Mm. Mm. So how am I gonna how am I gonna do that? It doesn't it doesn't matter actually it doesn't matter it doesn't matter. 
So this is what I was thinking. Um, these blocks here are temporary. They're going to be removed. This is just to yeah. mark the circle. And <coughs> here's the place where you can have bed, right? And this is all going to be water. And I like to use some kind of uh, light block uh, beneath the water. I mean, the water is already dark enough yeah, I, as a texture. I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. And we can turn these walls into some kind of um, like caves, um, you know, like a water water feature. Uh, uh, watch out, it's a creeper. Oh, maybe, maybe he can help us. <laughs> What you doing? <laughs> Building a storage. <laughs> Building a what? <laughs> yeah, that's something you don't know. Yeah, I have no idea how that thing works. <laughs> <laughs> it's so complicated. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. This room looks real nice. Thanks. Did you place a TNT block here? Yes. But I didn't have flint and steel, so I couldn't um, blow it up. Let's see. Yeah, run. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> hmm. That's half of it done. Uh, the, uh, uh, let's get up here. Uh, I think that bed should be... Here, I guess. Do you have a bed? <laughs> uh, no. Uh, okay, we're gonna make you a bed. Also, what do you think that we place sand here uh, on the bottom? Well, I think that this could work. It rather looks interesting. <laughs> Let me take a look. You doubt my comment that it's gonna look interesting? Yeah. Alright, alright. Huh. Is this interesting? You have never seen anything like that before. <laughs> no, definitely, definitely not. <laughs> Especially not in a hobbit hole. <laughs> Exactly. This is this is a new kind of hobbit hole. This is art. <laughs> we are the P Picasso and Rembrandt. <laughs> Maybe. Don't be modest. <laughs> so let me see if these lily pads will will work. No. Come on. Okay. No. It bugs the water, the last one. The last one bugs the water. What the heck is going on? I don't know. It's something. With, it's something with a with a water plugin. But you even don't need to have the, the the path leading all the way. You can just click. Yeah. Sure. Okay. The bed. But this is looking interesting. <laughs> okay. Do you have some wood to craft a bed? Uh, you ask. Otherwise, I'll find some. You ask. Ah, too yeah, much. I got some right here. It's it's good. You ask too much. <laughs> I got some. I mean, this top floor is really good, really interesting. And yes, this little balcony. Tree in the middle. Yeah, and once we expand these uh the walls here the room like oh yeah sure yeah it, it will it will be even bigger so i don't know if it was your intended purpose but i think it looks quite nice like this um look at the look at the bed oh nice i don't know if it's gonna be usable oh yeah sure it is okay even though it's floating yes all right, all right. Uh, don't forget to to sleep. <laughs> don't forget to not drown in the water. This looks so cool. <laughs> yeah, my spawn point is set. Nice. 
Now we just need some vines and some leaves. Wait, wait, wait. But what I would... What I would really like for this room to have is sort of... Let's see here. Just give me a, give me a moment here. I'm just gonna watch you. <laughs> this grass really do... Yeah, it, it brings this whole place to life. <laughs> yeah. A lot. <laughs> I, I brought some vines with me, so I'm gonna place them in this thing. Not in the water? <laughs> in uh, somewhere like here. Okay, place it. Can you place it? Oh, okay, okay. Just a second, just a second. Here you go, here you go. Call that a place. <laughs> he robbed me. <laughs> um, you willingly gave it to me. That's something on a whole different level. <laughs> yeah, keep telling yourself that. <laughs> okay, I know. I'll give them back to you. <laughs> Here you go. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, let's see now. Something like this, maybe. So call me, maybe. Okay. Um, I think it's, it's done. Actually, uh, you can you can expand these corners here, left and, and, yeah. and, and, and forward. Uh, I don't think like... I will. The... It's quite a big room just for a bedroom as it is. But you should have a nice bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, when I build houses in Minecraft, I never build myself a bedroom. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I, just place, I just place the bed in the center of the house. And yeah, I, in the yeah. center of your base and just leave it there. <laughs> Don't die, you'll never spawn there. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the next thing is kitchen and then... And, and... Yeah, super smelter. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> How far back? This is what I was thinking, right? Uh, like yeah, I know it. Stone. That's very bright. <laughs> yes, brighter. It gets the better it looks in the end. So we still have 28 glowstone blocks. So let's let's spread it all the way. This is gonna be a similar design to what I did uh, with a cow farm. And yeah. oh yeah, I have a cow farm. <laughs> you you mean the the spawner thing? Yeah, and the creeper farm. Yeah. As well. yeah. Is the cow farm finished? Um, no, 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 not yet. <laughs> but you, okay. you can you can stand in the middle of and it and just the use yeah, the sword and like they constantly spawn. The trick is to use uh, oh, okay. grass blocks beneath. There you go. Uh, so, pr no, probably, yeah, we're gonna have to get rid of this as well. Okay, I'm gonna. Sh See what the damage is. Yo, where are you? <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> this looks rather spacious here now, and we have a signature here. The super smelter is coming soon, <laughs> yeah, which is good. And this window looks promising. It looks really interesting, actually. Um, it, I've been it running. It looks good from the outside. Yeah, let, let's just give me a second. <laughs> I'm stuck. No, no. Punch me in the face. Punch me in the face. You can't punch people here. I'm punching you. Ah, there we go. Set myself free. Okay. Um. Yep. As soon as the grass spreads, it's gonna look even better. Some flowers are missing, but nothing we can we can't solve. Still need glass paints here. Yeah. I, I didn't have any on me. I think I'm, I can get some. I've got this uh, silk touch, and there's this. Do we need four or six? Four. Excellent. 
Did you just steal them? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Um, yeah, this this area looks <coughs> rather rather cool, and uh, when the grass spreads, it's gonna look even better. This grass. <laughs> Well, I've gotta say, this area here looks really, really nice now that the grass has spread. These bushes really do make a difference, and the vines over there that are growing, they really bring in the details. But I would just like to place a little bit more light to this place. Occasional jack-o'-lantern will help here, and I like this new look. Uh, that black outline was really ruining the block, but this now here looks just fine. Also, uh, in the meantime, I've placed a few trees in front of the house. As you can see, um, this one and this one here. So, I've dug down a little bit and I was planning on making a pond here. So I'm gonna do that real quick and fill you in with the details. This newly created pond could look real nice. I've placed a little bit of jack-o'-lanterns right there and right there just to give it a little bit more light. But what I need to do is remove that house and plant another tree on that spot. Maybe even around that portal. It's connected to the nether hub. So let's get down to business as soon as I kill these guys here. I think that the perfect location for the next tree is going to be maybe like right here. So let's try and bone mill it. Oh wow! That's actually huge. Did not expect from it to grow this big. But oh well, I think it's gonna work. It's gonna look nice just to place in additional bushes and bone meal the grass so that this one can grow and then I'll bring you up for the detail I'm constantly going back and forth and I'm really pleased with the progress that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing here just to custom made few sugar canes around I don't know if Mir is gonna like that but I think that I should give it a try. Now let's see how can I extend this even more. I've placed some vines here and there and they are really starting to grow. I think it's gonna give this place a little bit more detail than it already has, which is quite good. I don't know if I should place any more sugarcane. But now it's time for bone meal. All right, let's place a little bit here and a little bit maybe here. Okay, let's get rid of the flowers. We don't want flowers. Uh, maybe remove a few of these. All right, let's make a double here. All right, that looks cool. One over there and make it a double. Okay, more punch the flower away remove a little bit of this grass no flowers thank you uh, maybe you and make you a tall one Ooh, too much grass too much grass let's make this one in the background too tall okay here no flowers Okay, let's step back and see what we did. That looks nice. It looks like a proper wild surrounding, you know? It looks really interesting. Now that this grass is slowly spreading, we can we can make a path that goes all the way to the, uh, to the village here. And I don't know, maybe Mir has come up with some plan on what to build here but this place here looks enchanting look at that tree in the middle it's growing real nice uh, also I'm quite pleased with the design here this room looks nice the detail and decoration in it everything is fine it's gonna, it's gonna have a curtain here 
out of these binds. But next, uh, uh, next stop here is the kitchen, and I have no idea why these leaves keep vanishing. So I got a wacky, <laughs> wacky, whoa, wacky idea. Uh, this, <laughs> this idea is gonna be so weird. Okay, now let's see. Let let's place this here, and then I need to place. I was hoping for this to be darker in this room. It's gonna, it's gonna be really, really wacky. Okay, let's raise this pillar and let's spread this around. Something like that. Something like that. Okay, okay. Bear with me here. So I was thinking, um, probably. One more, actually. Let's raise it up here. So I was thinking of maybe using um, yellow glazed terracotta. Okay. No. How do I turn it? Er ah, there we go. Okay. Okay. This looks weird enough. Okay. So maybe we can use this pattern to somehow bring this place to life. We're gonna think of this as a bar, right? So we have a cooking area here, like a super smelter or something like that, like a miniature size super smelter. And then here we have a bar with probably like a lot of um, brewing stands or something like that. So we need a wacky decoration in the background. As a design, this looks really interesting. But then again, I'm gonna need something more. And by placing in the last bottle, we got this design all sorted out. I've just placed a few uh, lanterns here and some uh, yellow glass filled in the background with the black concrete and it looks real nice, you know? I just have to fill in this floor and I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it also with black concrete because it kind of, goes with the theme so I don't want to ruin the theme let's see here so first step it's gonna be all about design right so hmm, maybe I should have cleared this mess uh, I'm gonna have a line of chests here and I'm gonna have hoppers beneath that are gonna pick up whatever is getting smelted here and it's all gonna end up here in this chest here in the middle so just like that it's time for the redstone and I'm gonna need this some levers and some ordinary rails right okay um, here we're gonna we're gonna have a powered rail a powered rail here then two levers to get away power that rail oh yeah it's powered okay let's do the same thing here on this side excellent and then we are going to connect them using rails here okay let's let's test this out so it's gonna go back and forth do I have any coal yes I do okay so let's see if it picks that up from the yeah it, it actually did oh it picks it up but it's not distributing them amongst the furnaces. Why the first one is not getting fed any coal? The others are. What? What's happening? And the last one is also not getting any coal. I have placed three more stacks inside of this chest. And I'm gonna leave this one running to see if he is gonna feed these guys here any coal. There, I think I've solved this problem with somehow faking this symmetry and functionality. There's no point for these two windows to be there, so it's just like, let's say, 
let's say for the sake of the symmetry. And for some reason, admins have said that they cannot stop or fix the problem where the placed leaf blocks just disappear. They decay. Uh, that's something that does not usually happen. So I had to remove everything here on the from the floor. I was thinking maybe of placing some some of these trapdoors just to hide this color a little bit. But I'm gonna have to wait for Mia and see what he thinks about that. So let's try it out. I'm gonna place some materials in here and let's see what happens. The last one did not get it. Why? Oh. My bad. Oh. Ah, uh, now it's working. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. Got scared there for a second. We can conclude that this place here looks rather... rather alright. We'll see about the details, what, what the Mia has to say about that. But when it comes to this side over here, I went ahead to try out uh, an idea. So... As we spoke before, this was supposed to be like a chest room. So we're gonna have like sections here with a lot of chests. And here in the middle, we can place shulker boxes here on the wall in a different color. Well, I haven't dyed mine, so it doesn't matter. But you can open them, right? And that's why it's uh, two blocks uh, wide and regular chests can be found in this section here i'm still i still have to design the roof but i went simple you know i didn't want to complicate too much so i went simple with just concrete after trying something out i realized that i cannot move ceiling any further than this it's a rather thin layer on top and it would look silly if i change the outside terrain um, but this flat ceiling works fine with everything else that we have here. But I'm still missing some details, so I'm gonna grab some other items and experiment a little bit to see what I can get. It works. It works. It's not too much, and yet it's simple. So I think I'm gonna leave that. Maybe add one more here. Is that gonna look weird, I wonder? Probably not. It looks all right. So I'm gonna grab some chests and try and fit them inside to see what they look like. Fine. Okay, uh, so... Um, I've done a few things here. So l let me explain here step by step, okay? So okay. Uh, they have this plugin on the server uh, about the trees, right? And yes. for some reason, when you remove the stem, uh, leaves start to decay, right? That's like yes. totally normal, right? But also, when you place them on the ground, they also decay, even though they've placed like a block. So the floor that we've placed here, the leaf floor, it started decaying, you know? I was, uh, I was running around here, decorating this room, blah, blah, making this super smelter work. And for some reason, leaves, the blocks started decaying and I replaced them with these trapdoors. I don't know if you're gonna be fine with this, but I did my best. <laughs> well, I'm gonna try something. Like, I, I had the same problem with the leaves over here and I just, like, put a lock quite close to it and mm -hmm. it just stayed then, so. Yeah, but... Maybe I'll just put leaves, uh, locks with leaves above and maybe that will work. I did a little bit of, uh, you know, yeah, I saw that. remodeling. <laughs> yeah, so this is the storage system. Um, it's not automated at all because we don't have enough space. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, it's, so it's it's purely uh, manual. And uh, I went and um, uh, yeah, found a few shulkers in, in the uh, end city, raided them, 
Thanks for that. Yeah, yeah, and so you can have like six six of them. I yeah, dyed them in this awesome. color. I don't know if you like it. <laughs> yeah, it gives it a bit of color. So. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, also, I didn't know what to do with this uh, transition in between this grass and, and, and uh, concrete, but I wanted to do uh, a design like vault door. They are oh. like uh, one block open. So we can have a door that's gonna go like this and then this side is gonna go like like this wait and it's gonna be open like this and they're gonna be uh, vi visible you, you're gonna you're gonna be able to see through them because I'm gonna use trap doors for the um, for the middle part uh, but oh, you yeah. can you can walk like through here oh you can use levers as door handles so you can power power these I was just gonna hide them in the ground but oh. dang it did it wrong wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you need to place it on the other side uh, let's try like this. There yeah. You go. Like that. There we go. It works! Does it look good? Um, <laughs> yeah, it looks decent. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I was going for really good. <laughs> yeah, but the levers make it look a bit weird, but... No, it doesn't. <laughs> Okay, it looks excellent. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> okay, so I made it. I'm, I came up with the idea of uh, having some kind of islands floating around the base. So this was the design that I went for. And this huge tree that just grew out of one sapling, uh, it amazingly, it fits. Yeah, and the the roots are the. Did you do those of or did? Th those uh, grew naturally. I just place it and, and it grew through the ground. Wow. You know? Yeah. So the beacon is actually inside of that island, and I uh, terraformed I it today a little bit. I removed the extra trees that were uh, beneath it and removed the terrain, so I have a huge waterfall now, and that small island over there. I still have to decorate it, but that's for some other episode. Yeah. Yeah. But the view from all the way er, from here is quite good. I like okay. it. This, How the heck? this okay. entrance on the, this side kind of blocks the way partially, the view, right? So I had to remove the trees so I can see better on the out, uh, outside. And that island over there is additional like, uh, like detail. So I quite yeah. like it. So I'm, I'm thinking of placing them like uh, around the base uh, and beacons inside. I've got a few uh, uh, the um, what, what are they called? Wither skeletons, skull. Yeah. Skulls. Yeah. Yeah. So we can summon a wither. We can kill it. That would be like four fourth time for me <laughs> or something. And uh, yeah. So we can place like four, five, six beacons. I don't know how many. Maybe even maybe even four or five uh, beacons in, in, on one island, so we have uh, all the uh, all the buffs when where, wherever we go. So that, yeah, that, that would be, be quite nice. Mm -hmm, that could be useful. <laughs> so I, I I heard that you are thinking of moving to SMP. I I saw that you voted. Oh yeah, <laughs> come to the dark side. But well, it's quite difficult. It, it's actually fifty-fifty right now, so. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pay someone to vote for you to yeah. come to NCMP. Uh But yeah, uh, that's it for today's episode. Uh, we're gonna be working oh. together in the future, I hope. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Since we're neighbors now. Do, do you wanna do I... the outro? <laughs> no, go ahead, it's your episode. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Stand there, stand there. I gotta hey, find Hey! Gotta find You them. did remove my prank yet. I will. Come on, give, give, me, give me some time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Uh, it's been a collaboration here with Mera yes. and, and, and Mia, sorry, <laughs> and Rascal. Uh, if you liked it, uh, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more content because we are going to collaborate 
I think more. Um, yes, they uh, accepted my definitely. application for the vanilla, so I might join you there. <laughs> okay, that, that's nice. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> We're gonna work on something. But till next time, I'll see you guys.